Hello, my name is Saif Gallagher, also known as the Vagician MD, and we're going to start in this video, we're going to do a deep dive on anatomy. So this isn't your regular biology class anatomy, we're going to go a little bit deeper, and we're going to talk uh, more about what's normal and what's not normal. Um, we're going to do this from uh, a chalk pastel rendering of uh, a patient's anatomy, um, who sent me in a question uh, wondering about her labia. The labia is the most frequent thing uh, any Anybody with a vagina uh, freaks out about are they normal are, are they not normal are they uneven is that weird and so we'll get to all that so let's without further ado take a look uh, at the picture and uh, talk in more detail about uh, naming the different parts Okay, I chose this anatomy because this is typically uh, what is illustrated in textbooks. This would be Caucasian anatomy, and we see the single color throughout the genitalia. And um, this patient probably didn't have, or her doctor didn't have too many concerns about being quote unquote normal. So um, what we'll do is we'll start at the top and um, name some parts. So the labia minora are these inner labia here um, which are oftentimes referred to as the vagina of course the vagina is in here not really visible uh, from outside so I apologize um, the vagician is probably a misnomer when it comes to this so let's focus on the labia minora so these are interesting there's no fat underneath the skin here and actually as um, they come up here they separate into two different leaflets so um, we have have the upper part um, which covers uh, the uh, clitoris which is hidden in here and many women it's hooded and so uh, this part is oftentimes called um, the prepuce and um, then underneath that we have uh, the frenulum of the clitoris which is the other uh, little leaflet of the labia minora so usually uh, labia minora um, up above composed of two um, separate leaflets and our clitoris is underneath here moving down hidden in here we will have um, the urethral meatus uh, which is what you pee through and uh, then moving further down which is usually obscured not very easily visible uh, uh, when we're just looking at the vagina or the the vulva like this is um, the uh, vaginal opening uh, in here and if there's any remnants of the hymen we'll see them in here now one uh, very common misunderstanding uh, which causes a lot of problems throughout um, the uh, world is that the hymen is um, a uh, intact across um, the whole way in uh, the in a girl who hasn't had sex and this uh, of course isn't necessarily true there is a lot of variation in how the uh, hymen will be uh, present and indeed an imperforate hymen or a hymen that doesn't have any holes and it doesn't allow menstrual blood out uh, so this is actually uh, a medical problem and this is um, not uh, the usual the hymen will usually be present uh, around just the outside of the vagina make no difference whether or not a girl has had sex before down here um, is what we call the confluence or where the labia minora meet um, this is called the posterior fourchette um, which comes from the word uh, fork uh, where the labia minora fork and then the vestibule uh, of the vagina is that area just right at the entrance uh, of the vagina right here um, so moving up then we have our labia minora um, which do have fat underneath them and coming up on top we have uh, the mons uh, pubis itself the area between the labia minora and the labia majora is uh, the uh, interlabial sulcus um, that divides the two um, so what we'll do is we'll uh, put a picture of this nicely la labeled genitalia uh, down below um, but what you should know is this is actually quite unusual anatomy because this patient does doesn't have keratinization or rough skin like 73% uh, um, of female genitalia do around the edges of the labia minora and also she has very little 
color variation. She also has pretty similar um, size labia minora. Typically, uh, the labia minora in 43% of women at rest like this are um, mismatched on stretch, uh, 61%. And as you can see, this site is uh, a little bit larger. So there you have it, uh, the different parts of the anatomy. Less than 60% uh, of folks uh, can uh, label these parts. So now you're well on your way to becoming an expert in this area.